Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and I hope you all well. I am very excited because I have some news to share with you. My mom and my sister are coming to stay with us here in London. They now have rights to stay in the UK permanently or as long as they want to and have applied for their BRP. And also they now can work from home. So yeah, as you can see, I'm very excited. So currently I'm trying to figure out what they would need. Initially we thought they will stay for a month, but now change of plans, they will stay for two weeks, then they will go back home and then they will come here as, as many times as they want. Because with BRP, they can travel back and forth with no problem at all. So I'm currently preparing their room. I think for two weeks, living room will be fine. We have folding beds. Again, nothing is permanent. We'll see how it goes. I was also looking for new SIM cards for them. And I was looking for a SIM only plan with flexibility and decent network coverage. I stumbled upon GiveGov SIM plans. So basically you're choosing your plan. It can be monthly rolling or pay as you go, which is most appealing to me. And the best part is you can switch it every month. This is exactly what I was looking for. I need flexibility. When plans change, change plans. Plus, you get unlimited UK calls. So the plan is for my family to come visit at least several times in the next six months. And with GiveGov, I can easily switch their plans to whatever will be suitable at that point of time. Because when it comes to flexibility, GiveGov is truly most unique network in the uk if you want sim plan you can flex switch to give gov so that's done now i'm thinking what to show my family where to go because my mom's been to uk four times already and she saw it all <laughs> she's been to london in every season but i still have something to show her lots of work to be done they arrive next week so i'll see you when they're here And they arrived. After a couple of days at home, we went to the busiest street of London, Oxford Street, for shopping. We visited the Lush flagship store, House of Secrets, Cool Britannia for gift shopping, House of Mina Lima. We also popped into Liberty to see the installation and, of course, to visit Christmas department, which was already open in October. The roads that lay open are many when the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Beginning to fall from within I take a quick walk through Soho It was time for a special masala high tea at Masala Zone we absolutely loved the interior and the masala chai was really tasty. We then continued our walk from Piccadilly Circus through Chinatown because later that day we had an event to attend to. It was pop up by Little Moons, we tried the mochi ice cream and went up to Tottenham Court Road to see alternate exhibition. On the weekend, we went to one of my favorite villages, Shia. This is where iconic The Holiday Movie was filmed. This village is so charming, I don't even know how many times I've been here already.
In October, I did some work for my London page. I went on a gastro tour at Borough Market, which I loved and can recommend any one of you. Borough Market is a world-class produce market with 1,000 years of heritage and it is simply iconic. If you want to learn more about it, a taste of Borough Market, led by the founder of Borough Market's original and only official tour, Celia Brooks, is for you. We had so much fun exploring the huge range of exceptional British and international producers available and learning all the fascinating facts about the market's rich history. Celia showed us the best that Borough has to offer. We tried delicious cheeses, fresh scallops, apple crumble from Humble Crumble, for the first time in my life, I tried freshly pressed sugarcane juice, fresh salmon, truffle croquettes, Italian salami from South Tyrol and more. I'll leave you a link in the description box so you can book your gastro tour and discover the secrets and delights of London's oldest and most renowned food market. Then half term started, so we went to Wakehurst. It is so beautiful in October, I always look forward to visiting this park. Two weeks before Halloween, Belgravia announced the annual Halloween trail, so of course we had to go. There were several big displays, cute treats and lots of fun. We also popped into Starbucks for kids' favorite toasties and I managed to grab one last pumpkin spice latte of the season. The day before Halloween, we finally visited Klink Prison Museum. It's been on my list for years. The Klink Prison Museum is built upon the original site of the Klink Prison. It dates back to 1144, making it probably the oldest prison of England and definitely most notorious.
It was rainy and cold, so we went for coffee and cookies at the after school cookie club, and we could not leave Boro Market without having special edition pumpkin spice crumble served in real pumpkin. That's it for today's video, as you can see everything is already decorated for Christmas in London, autumn feels rushed this year. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you liked it and I'll see you in my next one, bye!